electric conductors and insulators. In all our activities, we have used metal wires covered in plastic. Have you wondered why we didn't use a cotton thread instead? Make a circuit by connecting a cell and a bulb like in our previous activities. Now disconnect the wires. Touch the two free ends to different materials to see which material allows the electricity to flow through it and which does not. You can use coins, cotton, cork, keys, rubber, wooden blocks, pencil lead, thermocol, aluminium foil and many other materials. One by one, bring the two loose ends close to these samples and note down your observations. You will find that the bulb does not glow when the wires come in contact with certain objects. These materials do not allow the electric current to pass through them. On the other hand, the bulb might glow when the wires come in contact with certain other objects. These materials allow electric current to pass through them. Materials which allow electric current to pass through them are called conductors of electricity. For example, metals, coin, foil, key, etc. Materials that do not allow electric current to pass through them are insulators. For example, cotton, rubber, wooden blocks. Both conductors and insulators are important for us. Switches, electric plugs, sockets are partly made of insulating and partly of conducting materials. The plugs and switches that people touch when we want to switch on an electrical appliance are made of insulators. The human body is a conductor of electricity. That is why all electric appliances used by us are covered with plastic or rubber to prevent the electric current to flow from the appliance through our body.